and the goal for the day is to do this video in one take. It's totally not gonna happen. Like, last time was totally just a fluke. Hello Internet, I'm Mo, and I'm here today to review Neil Stevenson's The Diamond Age, or A Young Lady's Illustrated Primer. Um, I just finished this book a few days ago, and I have some mixed thoughts and feelings about it, but it was definitely a very interesting book, and I really wanted to do a review for it. So here I am! Uh, this is an adult, an, an adult science fiction novel. Um, more specifically, it's a cyberpunk or post-cyberpunk novel, depending on who you ask. And it follows a young girl from the slums who gets a hold of a very advanced piece of interactive technology and how it affects her life as she grows up and the people around her and eventually the world. Um, this book also explores what the future might be like if there was this vast use of nanotechnology. So the idea of what would happen if our technology became so small that you couldn't even see it anymore? And how would that affect different aspects of society and our lives? And this is actually what I really enjoyed the most about the book. Neil Stevenson's world building is amazing, you guys. This book is 500 pages long, which is not a short book, but it's not a long book either. A lot of his books are like a thousand pages long. Um, and the amount of world building that he fit into these 500 pages is like immense. Um, and just the way he puts it all together is brilliant. And he really just explores every aspect of how this technology would affect the world and would affect society. So the idea of, okay, how would having this affect our entertainment or our judicial system or our military or our transportation or our medical professions um, and all of these different things. And he also really explores how would this technology affect the highest levels of society and how would it affect the lowest levels of society. And this idea of what are the good things that can come out of this and what are the bad things that can come out of it and sort of is that an even trade-off or not. Um, one of the other things that he explores in this novel is uh, cultural, and so this book is set in a futuristic Shanghai for the most part. It does also travel um, to Canada and America and London uh, briefly, but most of it takes place in China. And there's this sort of mixing of different cultures, not necessarily that the cultures are mixed, but that they're all very much closer together. So in Shanghai, there's a section of people who are from this culture, and then there's another section of town with people from this culture. So they're all in the same sort of geographic location, but they're still separated um, into these cultural and sometimes more philosophical divisions, uh, and how that affects the way that this world runs. This book follows a number of different characters, um, mainly this little girl named Nell, I would consider her the main character, but there are a number of different viewpoint characters in this book. And I really enjoyed all of the characters. I found them all interesting um, and all just very well executed so far as seeing where their motivations are coming from and why they're doing what they're doing. And I just thought that that was really well done. And my phone is ringing. I'm gonna get that. So far as the writing, I think this book was really well done, really well put together, especially so far as the structure and the way that he introduces you to these different things and how you slowly start to figure out and piece together um, what's going on. I thought that was just uh, really well timed and well put together. His uh, prose, I do enjoy. I will say it's a little bit dense. Uh, Neil Stevenson is all about math and science and these things, and he talks a bit about like computing and programming, although not in a like really confusing, complicated way. Um, but that is in here, and you do go through sections that seem kind of techno babbly. Um, they're not actually techno babble because you find out later that oh, this actually did have an effect on the plot. 
Um, but it can seem that way while you're reading through it sometimes. So this was not a fast read for me. I normally get through a novel in like two to three days and this one took me like two weeks um, just because I felt like I needed to keep stopping and kind of processing what was going on and it didn't really pull me forward. It wasn't one of those stay up late at night keep reading books for me. Um, mostly just because of the, the density of the, the prose and everything that was really being packed in um, to each chapter. Um, like I said at the beginning, I do have some mixed feelings and some mixed thoughts about this book. Uh, the world building was wonderful, the characters were wonderful, he's obviously a very good author. Um, but there were a couple of scenes in here that I was slightly disturbed by, shall we say. Um, and I know that he really was trying to explore what are, you know, the good things that this technology could bring about and what are the bad things that this could bring about. And um, I had at one point got to this one scene and I was just really like, oh my goodness, why is this here? Why would he write this? Um, and I kind of flipped through and saw it was only like three pages long, so I skipped past it and I kept reading and Having got to the end of the book, I now have a much better understanding of that scene, um, or a couple of scenes, um, but I kind of had this feeling as I was going through, like, I know they tell authors to show, not tell, but I didn't really want to watch that. Um, and that being said, now that I have finished the novel, I uh, understand it better than I did, and I appreciate it more than I did, although I wouldn't necessarily say that I appreciate that aspect of this. I, um, yeah, how do I say this? I guess looking at the novel and seeing that that wasn't just an unnecessary thing that I found disturbing, but that it really was central to the plot, and even though I didn't like that section and that aspect of this book, I don't know that you could really take it out without ruining what this book is. And yeah, I don't know that he could have done it differently and still had the same effect. And so I guess I've come to accept that section of the book, even though I still don't really like it. Um, so I am going to put a warning out there for you guys. There is he deals with a lot of really gritty stuff uh, in this book. Some of it's um, he shows more and some of it he tells. And so, I mean, like I mentioned, the military and the judicial system, there is fighting, there is execution, there is abuse, there is uh, rape, although that was not um, gone into really very much. Um, there are some characters whose are sort of sexually promiscuous. And so if any of those things are going to bother you, you might not want to pick up this book. Um, but he really does bring up some good thoughts and good points about um, societal issues and what people do to other people and the reasons that they do those things and whether or not they are justified in them. and just the different ways that technology could be used to take advantage of people in very sort of frightening ways. And so, yeah, I think it accomplishes that very well, but still, at least on my part, there were some things in here that were kind of disturbing. So that being said, I gave this book four stars. I think without those scenes, it would definitely have been a five. And like I said, I don't think he could have taken them out, but they did bring my enjoyment of this book down. Um, I think there are some people I know who I would recommend this book to who I think would enjoy it, and there are some people who I would definitely not recommend this book to. So if you have read this book, uh, definitely let me know your thoughts down below. Uh, was there anything that bothered you? Did you think it was just brilliant all the way through? Um, or if you've read other books that gave you the same sort of feeling, like, did it have to be this way? Maybe? Um, yeah, let me know what those were, and I'd like this to be a discussion if you guys have anything you feel like you would like to input. Um, I would also say if you are interested in potentially reading this book, 
um, and would like to hear more, Sunny and Amanda over at The Marvelous Reading Room also did a review slash discussion, and I'll leave a link to that down below. Uh, I think they might have enjoyed it a little bit more than I did, although, I mean, this is phenomenally written, even though it deals with some stuff that was a little bit um, tough, <laughs> I guess. So, yeah, if you've not read very much science fiction or uh, haven't read this particular book and you like science fiction, it might be something you want to look into. If you really like good world building, Neil Stevenson is a master. And I've never read a book that fit this much world building into that many pages. I mean, this is a standalone. I feel like the amount of world building in here normally would be part of a series. And so, yeah, it, there are definitely has things going for it. I am not doing well at grammatically correct sentences tonight, but we'll make that work. Anyway, so now that I'm done rambling, uh, yeah, if you have any thoughts, please share them down below and I think that's it for today. See you guys later.